Today I'm going to be reading through the Friends Like These episode series within Apex. I've got all chapters unlocked and I have not read them before, but I'm going to go through all of them in this video. My name is Ferjam and I hope you enjoy this video. Friends Like These Not even her survivalist mother could have prepared young Vantage for her greatest challenge yet, making friends as an adult. To her confusion, getting the legends to like you by pointing out their tensions, heartbreak and secrets isn't the way to go. Or is it? Mirage would help, but he's busy wondering why no one showed up to his party. That sounds uh, a lot like Mirage alright. So I'm actually reading this after reacting to both the stories from the Outlands and the new launch trailer for the new season. So I assume this will explain maybe a few things within there that I saw. Chapter 1, Party Down. I got the streamers, I got the karaoke machine, I got the disco ball, but guess that wasn't good enough, was it, fellas? Maybe if I'd gotten that crypto impersonator to walk around saying how much he wants to be me, maybe then someone would have shown up to the Mirage Loves His Friends party. <laughs> but no, just me, you dupes, and a bunch of rapidly deflating balloons. Oh, just me, you dupes, and a bunch of rapidly deflating balloons. I read that wrong, my apologies. Knots are not my thing. That's exactly like me. Knots are not my thing either. Come on, guys. Knots. Not now. See? Watson would have called that, and it would have been hilarious. Where is she? Where is anyone? We can still make this party a hit, right, fellas? All a party really needs is Mirage. And we've got one, two, mumble, mumble. Five whole mirages. Six, if you include me. Alright, who's up for some spin the bottle? I know this guy is. So he's now partying with himself or with his clones. <laughs> Alright, that's it. This is officially the last party I throw to show I'm a good friend to my clearly super bad friends. I mean, yeah, Renee not coming to a party? That tracks. Ramya's probably got her head stuck in an exhaust tube engine thing and didn't see the invite. Crypto just murdered the karaoke machine with his grizzled Mr. Cool voice, so that's a freebie. But being stood up by Path? That just... hurts. I know what it is. Everyone's too busy with their drama to appreciate that I'm the glue of the friend group. Clearly, I'm not sticky enough. That came out wrong. That's it. Party's cancelled. Okay, bye. <laughs> Advantage. <laughs> ah! Where'd you come from? That was a very underwhelming ah from me. <laughs> I've been here the whole time. Did I scare you? What? No, I just did a little party scream. Phew, kid. Learn to make some noise. It's a party. Noise is allowed. Encouraged in some circles. There are rules? This is my first party. Hang on. Let me write that down. Parties. Noise. Encouraged. Got it. Your first party? Well, that's... Hmm. Mara. Can I call you Mara? At least parties will only get better after this disaster. Especially if you remember party rule number one. Show up! <laughs> and number two, don't throw a party in the first place if you're me. Show up. Don't throw in first place if, if unpopular. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I never said I was unpopular. Well, that's obvious, right? Listen, people don't like me. They love me. I have throngs of fans screaming my name every day. Maybe they're mad at you. I never considered that. Aww. Say, did any of the others tell you if they're on their way or... They don't tell me anything. I don't know them. The only person I know is my mom. Did you invite my mom? She's in prison, so she's not coming. Ah. You don't have friends? That tone is half surprised. Half totally not surprised, by the way. I didn't have people to be friends with. And, don't, and I don't see the purpose. Especially if they don't show up to parties. Oh. Don't they know parties have rules? Speaking of... Is there a specific time in a party to tell everyone about how your mom's been caged for, th for things people say she did but she didn't actually do and you all need to get her to get her let free? Oh boy, okay, listen. Uncle Marge is going to put some wisdom down for you. Once upon a time, I was like you. I wasn't Mr. Popular like I am now. Tonight, notwithstanding. After my brothers, uh, you know, passed away, I had some really lonely years there. You had brothers? How many? How'd they die? What kind of music did they like? Were they unpopular too? When reading the room isn't really your thing, is it? Let me impart more of my infinite wisdom. You want to do well in the games. You can't just hide behind this tough survivalist my closet thing to a f closest thing to a friend was a pinecone mask of yours. 
You've got to make friends, real non-pinecone friends. People who'll have your back out there. Gotcha, like a know your enemy thing. No, well, yes, but we call them friends outside the ring. Enemies in... it's confusing and it's not the point. The point is, friendship's about you getting to know someone else and letting them know you know them, you know? No, I agree with that. Work with me here, kid. You can't expect the legends to care about your problems if you don't care about theirs. Uh -huh. Make sense? Go make friends, now. What about the party rules? Is it okay to leave a party if you're the only person who showed up and the party master is having a breakdown? I'm not as master of the party. I make the rules. You can go now and make friends and find out why they didn't come to my party, but subtle like. Okay, bye. Hello, Mirage. Will you be my friend? Circle back to me. Now get out of here. Wait, did I just shoo away the one person who showed up twice? What is wrong with me? Don't answer that, dupe, or I'll undupe you. Next, Web of Lies. I mean, <laughs> an episode series that starts off with Mirage is bound to be a good one. Let's go to chapter 2. Web of Lies. It has been months since Crypto obtained this briefcase. This comms unit is the key to connecting to his, the, yeah, to his sister and possibly clearing his name. Together we have worked hard on repairing it. Finally, I have the right parts and I'm so close to getting it running. But there's still something not quite right. Maybe more solder here, but the current still isn't going through. Hmm, there was that other wire. You're a very messy person. W what? So th is this gonna just be vantages, you know, basically just meeting the legends <laughs> in a way? So we now have Watson. I jump in my seat as I turn around. Vantage. Ah, right. I was so lost in concentration, I'd forgotten I just let her in. Oh, we? Perhaps? Did you need something, Mara? Mirage said I should make friends when I was at his really sad party. So I'm here to become your friend. He says you'll care about my problems if I care about yours. Why is she kind of sounding like Pathfinder at this point? <laughs> I can't resist turning back to the computer as she speaks. I don't mean to be rude, but I know I'm so close. Hmm, ah, well, my current problem is this board. But making friends isn't only about learning about the problems of others. You have to learn about the person too. <laughs> That's good, because I've learned a lot about you already. You're a forgetful and nurturing person who prefers quick meals. How do you know that? <laughs> it's not that hard. There are a lot of things on your desk, like all these notes tacked up in another language. Then those feathers. My mom used to put them in my hair, but you don't wear them. They must be toys for your feline companion. And that's cereal, right? I recently tried dry wheat bites. They're way too sweet. You also have to know a thing or two about making friends. You have a picture there with Wraith, and I see you around Crypto and Caustic a lot. Ah, well, Renee is like family to me, and Crypto and Caustic... They aren't family like Wraith, are they? Because Caustic doesn't seem like your friend dad, and there's no way Crypto is your friend brother. Oh? Why do you say that? I bite my lip, adding solder to another wire with unsteady hands. I switch the computer on, but there's no response. Maybe it needs more power. Caustic is more cautious around you and sometimes looked, looks to you for guidance. That's odd since he's way older than you. I thought it would be the other way around. With Crypto, his profile says his name's Hyun, but sometimes it's like there's something else you want to call him. Plus, that computer thing you're working on, he gave it to you on the dropship yesterday. I pull a cable from my pylon and drag it up onto my desk trying not to fidget. Perhaps just an extra jump to the battery. They're also friends. Yes, that's right. Has someone been talking about my relationships when th with them? No, but you're pretty defensive. Creatures only get that way when they have something to protect. What, what, you're, what are you protecting? Information? Maybe like secrets? Do you know secrets about them? That's interesting. Wow, I'm really getting to know you. <laughs> friends do that, huh? <laughs> Keep secrets for each other. <laughs> How did you- No, I- In my surprise, I knock over an old bowl of cereal. Oh, there's milk everywhere. I rush to protect the board, but I drop the cable and... Sparks fly. Electricity surges and the computer screen flickers. I blink. Someone's face is on the screen. Oh no. A girl. Red hair. Green eyes. It's- Wait, is that Mila? Oh. Who's that? I slam the briefca briefcase shut and spin around in a, in a rush. Vantage stares. Oh. Nobody! 
Nobody at all. Is that Mila? That's, um, Crypto's sister. But you seem to recognize her. Is she your friend too? Another secrets person? I guide her to the door, trying not to push too hard. She's already seen too much. I'm... I'm sorry. I need to focus. Please don't say anything about that to anyone. Or... Or anything about the secrets either. So keep the secrets a secret, and I'll be your secrets friend too. Got it. I won't let you down. Now. So you care about me? My mom's in pris... No, that isn't... Never mind. Thank you. We'll talk again. Please go. I close the door as soon as she's across the threshold and I return my attention to the briefcase. I take a deep breath. Mila. Taijun's sister. It is! It is Crypto's sister! Hello? Ugh. I thought this comm server bit it after Quinton kicked the bucket. But I guess you managed to get it up and running again. Wait, are we finally getting lore about Mila? I was already wondering when they were gonna keep that story going, but here we go. You are Mila, aren't you? And you're Watson. Natalie, don't look so surprised. Of course I know who you are. Think I haven't been keeping tabs on my own brother? Speaking of which, he isn't there, is he? No, but I'll go get- No! But you want to see your brother, don't you? I'm still hoping Mila becomes a new character at some point. I feel like she would be a perfect new character. Look, I miss that dumb nerd, but he cannot know about this. In fact, this comms unit you just fixed? He can't know it was fixed either. I... I don't understand. You know how much Tai uh, hates the syndicate? He has this idea we'll reunite and magically clear our names together. But that's just naive. The syndicate's too powerful, especially now that Silva's pulling the strings. So I'm um, doing what I have to, working with the enemy to find out who framed us. If Tai knew that, he'd flip out and ruin everything, probably get us both killed. The syndicate, it won't be an issue. My family worked with the syndicate, but he still wanted my friendship. He trusts me, and he trusts me too, but I'm punching a time card. He won't get it after what they did to us. Maybe that, that trust will dry up. That's a risk I can't have. If I speak with him, you can't. Not about me or fixing that comms unit. Please. It's for his own good. The idea of keeping something like this from Taijun makes me feel ill. He trusts me, but his sister is here putting her trust in me too. Natalie. If Tai comes back after me, not back, just comes after me, that target he scrubbed off his back goes right back on. You'd be protecting him. Okay, I won't tell him. You're Tai Jun's sister. I trust you. Thank you. Seriously, my brother likes you a lot, you know. I can see why. I feel my face grow hot. She can't mean... Alright, I'd better jet before anything, anyone catches us talking. Remember, don't tell Tai. And make sure he doesn't get access to these comms either, or he's, a, or he's dead, and so am I. My stomach rolls in regret. I open my mouth to stop her, to tell her these secrets are all too much for me, but she cuts the line and the screen goes dark. Oh no, what have I done? Next, reading the room. <clears throat> okay, so, <laughs> some Mila lore finally, and... Some, uh, Crypto and Watson, uh, spicy, uh information so it seems like crypto definitely has taken a liking towards Watson in more than just friendship and it seems like Watson probably feels a similar way but she seems to not be fully aware of it by her reaction there she seemed to be almost a little surprised by when Mila started talking about that so um, yeah but we've known for a while now that those two are uh, <laughs> pretty close Anyways, let's go to chapter 3 and see how that, how the, how the rest of the episodes go. Reading the room. You know, I've been feeling like I needed a vacation, but Boreas isn't the tourist trap I was hoping for. Before I can p find a pint, I see why Obi asked me to come in a disguise. Yeah, these plonkers are pissed. Makes sense though. So Obi, that's Seer. And I want to say that this is Rampart's perspective, because she said plonkers. And that's, that's something that Rampart would say. <laughs> They're protesting about their planet falling apart with some bloke on stage yelling about all the ways they've been neglected for so long. They're searching for Obi for 15 minutes in this huge crowd. Weird not seeing him on the stage, but I've seen lots of shoddy signs with his face and moth logo crossed out. Starting to worry they got to him first. Ah, it is Rampart. Huh? I turn around and Obi snuck up behind me. I can barely recognize him. He's got a giant cloak that had 
fit five of him. Ha! Looks like a wizard. Hoodie's working fine on me. But that's Obi. Flashy even when you're supposed to lay low. <coughs> Obi! Good! Look, I don't know if we're the ones to be here. I try to avoid parties where they want to bash my head in. The drinks are never good. You are correct. <laughs> oh, great. Let's get out of here and find a pub. I must reveal myself and speak to them directly. <gasps> what? There is a misunderstanding, Ramya. My planet is hurting, and they think I do not care. If they hear the words from me, unmuddied by a reporter's smears, they'll know where my heart truly ri uh, lies. That's right, I forgot about that. There was a little, um... Like a little, um, clip on Twitter posted by the, uh, official Apex account ab ab about, um, Seer being interviewed by an, uh, well, an interviewer, a, a reporter. I don't remember exactly what was said within it, but I did watch it, and basically it was just, you know, Seer getting <laughs> dragged through the mud by the reporter. Like, it was brutal. I hated the reporter afterwards. I think it's the same reporter that, um, interviewed Forge when he got killed by Revenant. Um, so, yeah, I, ever since I saw that, I started hating that reporter because she absolutely brutalized Seer in that interview. And yeah, I didn't uh, I didn't appreciate that for my boy. Um, been in lots of crowds with fools like this, mate. They want your heart lying in the dirt. They're not ready to listen. Let's just hit a pub or something till this blows over. I know how to connect with them. This fool tries to take off his hood, but I grab him my way. I'm getting fed up. If you're looking to get knocked out, I got a wrench with my name on it, cause it's mine. I can't let you do this. At least when I knock you out, you'll have a pint waiting for you when you come to. These plunkers? I can see it in Obi's eyes. He wants me to support him, but even for me, this is just too reckless. I like a mosh pit as much as the next ne'er do well. What? But this is bad. I can only shake my head at him. Obi, mate, I understand. But you gotta figure out another way. Some of the protesters start throwing things at a seer poster on the wall. These folks will be all warmed up if Obi jumps on that stage right now. I can't let them believe I don't care. I think you have to, mate. Sometimes folks folks just need space to let off some steam. Hell, I can relate. The good thing about the games is, if some plonker misses, pisses me off, I can raise bloody hell on the field. Obi's face lights up. I might have finally got through to the bloke. Mm. The games, yes. If we bring the games here, we'd bring money and work to the local community. That's not what I said. Yeah, sure, that may be true, but you're privy to the bloke running the games, right? Ain't a friendly plonker. Octavio's father, correct? Yes. He requires good press. It would behoove him to treat our problems and not only win over the people of my planet, but all of the outlands. Sears right, Rampart. <laughs> and this just shows up again. Gah! Where'd the bloody come from? Not sure if your disguises are good or if Echo is getting complacent. But it took me too long to find you two. Echo's still going to get a treat though. Aha, see? The new legend understands. I have to do something, because this is my home. And because they hate you? Well, yes. See, Ramya? But Rampart is also right. This must be another rule of friendship. What do you do in this situation? Obi smiles and looks at me. To put it another way, would you still go to each other's party? Or would you skip it like you did the last one? Hmm. Friendship requires compromise. I seem to have forgotten this, and I thank you for the reminder vantage. Ramya. I will not reveal myself here today, but I am going to speak with Duaro. Wait. Vantage grabs Obi's arm and pulls him close so she can whisper. She has a stone-cold look of determination. This must be what she came to talk about. Are we friends, Seer? If we are, is it more appropriate to call you my 26-year-old friend Obi Adolasin? I probably butchered that surname. You know, to cut out the formalities. Why, of course. Ah, I don't know your true name. It's Xiomara, Mara for short, and Ramp... Sure, sure, I'm your bloody friend. Now stop saying our bloody names and let's get the bloody hell out of here. I really hope Obi thinks through this plan. Does Boreas even want help from Seer? And what party was Vantage talking about? Next. Definitely. Maybe. We're about halfway through and I can feel my throat getting uh, <laughs> more and more raw. My goodness, a lot of reading. 
Chapter 4, so Seer is going to talk with Duardo, and that is what I saw in the trailers. The new trailers that came out, I saw, you know, Seer and Duardo together, you know, and I saw the new games were being brought to Boreas, and the new character, I... I forgot her name. <laughs> the new legend, she was mad at Seer for bringing the games to Boreas. Let's go to chapter 4. Definitely, maybe. Ah, move-in day. Me? I love living on the edge of disaster. But Talos ain't no place to raise an entire bloody community. Oh, okay, so this is Fuse then. Not when Hammond keeps pushing her close to complete collapse. It's high time how these people found themselves somewhere safe. Walter, will you help me lift these supplies? Hell yeah, just remember, live directly from your back, not a bent knee inside, alright? Ha, I appreciate you looking out for me. My absolute pleasure, mate. That's terrible advice. Ah, where the bloody hell did she come from? You should do the opposite of what he said. Bend your knees, protect your back. Backs are important. You a newcomer, newcomer to the concept of banter, kid? Very new. Is banter giving terrible advice? It is a type of conversation between close friends. A way of expressing your uh, familiarity. Also, there are jokes. Your definition's suspiciously vague and I still don't get it. Maybe it's because I don't have any close friends. That's why I'm here actually, to make you my close friends. Mirage says the first step is caring about their problems, so please, tell me all your problems. Would you believe me if I said mild back pain? I would, because you're old. Oh, banter! I assumed re repatriation would prove the most challenging part of my day. First things first, Bob, don't listen to wit about anything. Come to think of it. There's more to being mates than just saying you care about their problems. You gotta bloody engage with them, one on one. Share a beer through the rough times. It's hard, but you never give up on each other. Really? I can tell you and that Maggie lady know each other by the way you pretend you don't. Doesn't that mean you gave up on her? Nah, I never gave up on mags. What Walter was attempting to explain is, friendship is like a hunt. It can take time to get close. One must be attentive and listen. Take Walter and I, for example. Oh no, I'm talking about friendly friendships, not romantic friendship. Oh, like you guys have. <laughs> Whoa, okay. The word some people suspecting that already within the community and there were some hints towards that but I wasn't actually thinking they were gonna go that way but um, looks like they are bloodhound and fuse <laughs> ha well yeah I guess you could say we're nay we are not we are just how many thinks we're just just the hell does that mean yeah it's like they said we're mates and nothing more then why are you both blushing Wait, how do you know bloodhounds blushing They've got a mask on. How can you know? I am wearing a mask. I literally just said that as well. <laughs> oh, I wasn't sure, but now I am. Oh, okay. <laughs> I've learned a lot about you. More than you want me to, I guess. That makes us friends, right? Maybe even secret friends, like Watson and me. Sure, kid. We're the friendliest. Right, oh, hound dog? Reckon we've uh, got a lot to unpack. Nay, only the packing of my people requires attention. Right, yeah, right. Focus. Priorities. Another time then. Oh, more banter. I get it. I'm the best at friendships. You guys better come to all my future parties. I don't want to end up sad and clingy and friendless like Mirage is at his... his pff, words. Is at his... Wait. Mirage had a party? Next. Best friends. Best friends. I quickened my pace, but I still can't seem to shake the little pup. I was being gracious when she asked to chat, so I invited her to dinner. I do not know who this is. Now, after that disaster of a meal, a quiet night eating instant noodles with Kyrie sounds like paradise. Kyrie, that's almost advantage. Valkyrie, is this possibly Loba then? Hey, wait up! Mm. Ah, it is. When I asked you to come, I didn't realize you'd show up wearing that. Or let you wrote and crawl all over the table, or, of all things, steal bread from other tables. These are high quality pelts, 
and Echo grooms multiple times in a day. He's probably cleaner than that stuffy guy that kicked us out. Plus, those people weren't going to eat their bread. It's good sense to save any excess food for later. That's what my mom taught me. <sighs> Love, you got us removed from a restaurant. In my world, that behavior makes you look weak. It makes you the prey. My associates would eat you ah. up. Who are your associates? I'll shoot them before they eat me. This isn't a matter of who can kill whom first. It's how we do business. A delicate balance of how to get what you want while staying alive. It sounds like you're just constantly putting yourself in danger. It's a tough world to navigate and one that many can't. That's why I don't involve friends in my work. But Valkyrie will help you sometimes. She's your girlfriend, isn't she? And Bangalore. I see you two talking sometimes. Yeah, let's not get into that. That's a whole... Whew, it'll take an entire episode series to explain that story. <laughs> One is my view. I... Uh, man. The, there's some hard words in these, in these stories. My goodness. And the other is a close associate. I enjoy spending time with them. Just not while I work. This gets more confusing the more people I talk to. Everyone lists different criteria for friendship. Problems, secrets, compromise, banter. As soon as the entrance of Kyrie's apartment comes into sight, I realize this has gone on long enough. I don't need to further jeopardize my night. I've got to get rid of her. Listen, if you want to know about a real friendship, I'll tell you about Jaime. He's been my best friend in and out of work for years. Jaime, it's the ninja dude. With the blue hair, yes, he was in the stories from the Outlands back when um, Loba got released. We haven't seen anything for him either, so I'm glad they're mentioning him again. We have the only two things that really matter in a friendship. Respect and loyalty. Make a note of that. Respect and loyalty. Mm -hmm. You're really writing it down? Done. So then, I think you and me already have loyalty. You left the restaurant with me and told off that matter mar matter matcher my mate <sighs> I'm not even gonna bother. <laughs> yes, that guy. You told him he could shove it up his <laughs> It sounds like we're halfway there then, beautiful. Now, I really must be going. Wait, but how do I earn your respect? What if I show you how fast I can skin a scrounger? Do you happen to have one on you? I hurry into the lobby of Kyrie's building. Vantage knocks on the glass door behind me, but by generosity for the night is at its limit. <laughs> Loba I can swallow a truffle fish whole. You've got to respect that. I leave her behind and make my way to Kyrie's unit. I can practically see my angel curled up on the couch, watching some variety show like she usually does at this hour. I unlock her door and hear the satisfying click of my freedom. Time to leave this night behind. Why do I feel like Vantage is just going to be there already? Somehow, waiting. <laughs> the door opens. It's dark inside. Strange. I reach into the shadows and flick the light switch and... My keys and my clutch fall from my hands. I blink, then blink again, but nothing changes. Uh-oh. Oh no, Revenant? I'm in a nightmare. All I see is Jaime, pale and still, strung by his wrists, hanging from the ceiling fan over the coffee table, blood on his clothes, blood on the f blood in it. What? Did Revenant just kill Jaime? And then he strung him up in Valkyrie's apartment, knowing that Loba was gonna show up there. That is terrifying, because he could have gone for Valkyrie just as easily then. This can be real. Not again. Not again. Now, I think this is- I don't think this is a nightmare either. I think this actually happened. Oh my gosh. Oh, is it a nightmare? Oh no, okay, no, it, 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 for a second I thought that was like an alarm or something. <laughs> a sound snaps me from my shock. That's my friend hanging there in front of me. I rush over to help him. Jaime, wake up, love, wake up. Oh my goodness. Is he not dead then yet? Loba, I broke in because I wa- Oh. There's a voice from the door as I climb onto the table and check for a pulse. It's weak under my fingertips, but it's there. Karaka, Jaime, hold on. Is he dead? I turn at her voice and realize it's Vantage standing in the door. I don't know how she got in, but at this point, I don't care. Mara, help. Jaime needs help now. My phone. So he's not dead yet. He might be soon, though. I can hear it ringing somewhere. Jaime's in my arms, but I need my phone. So where's Valkyrie, then? 
because Loba said it was late and usually Valkyrie was like on the couch, you know, watching shows and something at this time. So she's not there clearly. So did Revenant maybe kidnap Valkyrie or something? Because I'm assuming this is Revenant. Who else would do this? I've got it. I remember the emer emergency number. Oh, but there's someone calling. I know how to answer phones too. Do not pick that up. We all know who that is. It's the murder bot. Hello, Jamara Contreras here, answering for Loba. Oh, hi, Valkyrie. Oh, no, never mind. It's Valkyrie. Loba's too busy stabilizing her dying friend, Jaime, to come to the phone right now. I have to call for help. Bye. I managed to get Jaime down as Vantage calls for help, lying him across Kyrie's couch. I tear strips off the bottom of my dress to tie up his wounds. He's so lifeless. For a moment, I wonder who would do this to him. But it's obvious. Yep. He would do anything to hurt me. I'm sorry, Jaime. Hello? My heart catches at the sound of his voice, but his head slums and any sound of consciousness fades as quickly as it came. I pull his hand into mine. I blink away tears. Inside is a storm of panic and anxiety. So much anxiety, but mostly... Rage. Mm. Don't worry, Jaime. The demonio. He'll pay for this. Next. Deal with the devil. Yeah, I wanna know how this continues now. This... what? Given the choice, I'd never go underground, but sometimes our girls gotta get things done. A creepy ass bunker on the King's Canyon? I can hack it. Except. Having simulacrum bodies nearly crush your, crush your head every five seconds, I'd rather be in G Lock. Ugh. Ugh. Someone called housekeeping already. Okay, so this is Valkyrie's perspective then. Be my guest, little birdie. Maybe they'll get her in time to clean up your corpse. The voice comes from above me. Not the most creative scare tactic, but it's Revenant and his whole murdery stick. It's getting, it's getting pretty tacky. What are you, a jack-in-the-box? I thought assassins were supposed to kill their targets. You know, quietly. Think you're funny, do you? I could slice you clean through before you'd even know what's happening. And Loba, she'd be so, so sad. Sounds like the perfect gift for her. I whirl to face him. And that's the problem. You're obsessed with goading her and she can't stop taking the bait. It's like having a permanent third wheel. <laughs> uh, oh, is my involvement with Loba getting in the way of your little romance? Yep, there's another romantic relationship confirmed. Mm. Although that one was pretty obvious and confirmed as well, so yeah. Uh, yeah, it is. You will leave the Outlands with Sergeant Stick in the mud. And that was supposed to be the end of things, but you just had to keep hanging around. He drops down from the ceiling and leans over me, studying my face. Creep. I, I love Valkyrie's just, you know, attitude. <laughs> she's literally talking to Revenant alone in like a creepy bunker or something. And she still just like doesn't really care about him at all. <laughs> so what? You want to get rid of me? Wouldn't that be a treat? Got 20 years to spare? We could plan a road trip. Keep making jokes, trash can. But I can give you what you want. Ha! You really think you can kill me? Yes. He stops, neck creaking as he turns to face me. That's right, you glorified kettle. I mean business. If you quit playing your stupid games with Loba and leave her alone, I can make it happen. <laughs> I don't buy it, but that desperation. Oh, that's something to live for. I'm not just the third wheel, am I? I'm her priority. <laughs> You're giving yourself way too much credit. You're afraid that she cares more about killing me than she does about being with you. How all she does is dream of vengeance against me while your heart bleeds. Shut it, Tin Can. You wanna die or not? Touched a nerve, did I? Fine, I'll bite. You gonna fetch my head from Gridiron? I don't need to. I know a guy. <laughs> you know a guy. Yeah, and funny thing. He says your head isn't on gridiron at all. What? Touched a nerve, did I? Tell me where my head is right now or I'll wring your puny neck. Yeah, you don't want to do that. I'm your only lead. Down, boy. <laughs> I'll happily give you what you want, as long as you back off Loba. And that's what Loba wants too. Maybe I should thank her. You'll keep your mouth shut and stay away from her. <laughs> she doesn't know. Oh, little birdie, you make me so proud. You've got yourself a deal, but if you can't deliver, <laughs> don't go thinking you've got me on a leash. I can always cause a little trouble in paradise. I'll see you later, birdie. 
Or maybe I won't, if you hold up your end of the bargain. He climbs off into the darkness of his creepy, creepy lair, his laugh reverberating off the walls. I let out a breath, letting the tension leave my body. I start back the way I came. I check my phone and there's a message from Loba saying she's coming over. A smile tugs at my lips as I dial her up, but then... Oh, hi Valkyrie. Loba's too busy stabilizing her dying friend Jaime to come to the phone right now. I have to call for help. Bye. Wait, so maybe Riven didn't kill him then. But who else would do that? What? Jaime? What happened to Jaime? But the call's already ended and a jolt of panic races down my spine. My bodysuit suddenly feels stifling. There's only one reason someone would hurt Jaime. The head. I take off down the tunnel, find a patch of open sky and fire up my jets. This is the only shot we have at saving Loba and we can't lose it. We can't. Next. Party on, Elliot. Okay, we've got one chapter left and then the epilogue. One of the coolest things about being a wildly successful celebrity businessman, chin model type, the adoring fans are great, but it's really about the adoring friends you make along the way. Like, uh, that guy, sleepy napping at the bar guy. He's my friend. Hey, friend whose name I totally know and haven't forgotten. It's Jim. Didn't let me finish, but I'll give it to you. Okay, so that's a bust, but at least I'll always have you guys, right, hollow bodies? Uh, hollow bodies? Battery low. To continue basking in my glory, please recharge. I trusted you the most, Mirage number four. Mirage? Did I just say Mirage? Mirage? My motto's always been go big or go home. Maybe it's time to go home. That's it. I'm making Mijitos. Mirage, I did it. I'm friends with all your friends. All my friends? There's no way you know Nathaniel Waterloo. Oh. Who? Solace <laughs> City's High Minister of Breakdancing. But no, you're right. He's more than a he's more a brother than a friend. <gasps> oh who am I kidding? I'm not cool enough to know Nathaniel Waterloo. I haven't got any friends, so why did I expect anyone would show up to my party? No big deal. I just fight alongside those jerks, care about their problems. But you're the one bonding with all the cool kids. Of course I am. I learned to listen like you taught me, and what I'm hearing right now, you're not as self-obsessed as you want everyone to believe. There's something underneath you're trying to cover up. If you want to share, now's a good time, because I'm listening, starting now. <clears throat> Ugh, Mara, your listening face is disturbingly close to have a revelation face. She smiles, but then her focus drifts. She's seen something on the TV. It's Vantage, being interviewed after an Apex match she's won. The one on the screen looks excited, but the one watching it, she seems glum. No, disappointed, like she knows what she's about to see. Oh, I won. Huh, cool. Does the red light mean you're filming? Double cool. Hi, I'm Ma I'm Vantage. Right now, my mom is being held against her will in a maximum security prison. And how about that Echo, folks? What a cutie. Sure to become a fan favorite. And that's all the time we have tonight. Stay tuned for a word from our good friends at Shivrex. They cut me off. Everything I do here is to get on that tiny screen and tell the world about my mother. But they won't let me speak. Well, you know, you're off-putting. Has no one ever told you that? All the time, but I don't care about how or where I put people. Then I think it's time for you to have a revelation of face. You might want to share a care about how the syndicate sees you. I won't change who I am. No, no, just be yourself, but like, be a better, more mass marketable version of yourself. It's called acting. You want more screen time. Give them something they'll want to put on screen. Observe. I play a clip of one of my wins. I have a few of these stored to run on loop at the Paradise Lounge. Like, a few thousand. I win a lot. I'm a winner is what I'm saying. And I'd like to thank me and all the hard work I do for me to make what me does possible. And mom, thank you. I know you're out there watching. Aw, oh, what a sweetheart. Elliot Witt, ladies and gentlemen. You know, I think it's time I called my mother. See? You play their game, the media tells your story for you. That's how you win. Huh. Okay. Play the game. The media's your weapon. Win, win, win. Wait, your mom watches too? Is your mom also in prison? Is it the same prison as my mom? Are they roomies? Have they tried to shank each other? <laughs> Sorry, got excited. Mom stuff. Um... Your mom watches too? Every game. That's why I... 
She, uh, her memory. She has trouble holding on to things. I just, I want her to see me. Maybe then she won't forget. Maybe I can be what she holds on to. So yeah, mom stuff. <laughs> hey, you opened up. No, I didn't. You shared a vulnerable moment. You trust me. That's what makes friends friends. We did and it's yeah. wonderful and if you tell anyone I said anything, they'll never believe you. <laughs> what a cup what a couple of serious sallies. This is oh I just went back accidentally. <laughs> what a couple of serious sallies. This is a party, dears. Time to see your Tashis move. So Horizon just showed up. I see. I was told there's a party, yet no one is dancing. And Crypto showed up at a party. <laughs> okay. Uh what? What in the what's happening? Oh, did I forget to say? I brought your friends. Our friends. Apparently there's a party. Hmm. Did I accidentally hop into a dimension where you're cool? Wraith. <laughs> Renee, there's a familiar skull. You showed. Of course. You always show up for me. Mirage, I love you and all your clones. Even I can't tell who is the original. More and more of the legends arrive and then I'm behind the bar. Mixing drinks, dancing with drinks, naming drinks after me. Hollow, hollow, hologrony. More like hologrony. I'll circle back on that. But through all the very awesome partying, I still can't help wondering. Hey, Path, why didn't you respond to my first invite? These other jerks no showing I get. But you? That hurt. I didn't receive an invite, friend. I'll check my spam folder. Lonely Samathi Princess. Intriguing. Top 10 ways to polish your grapple. That shouldn't be in spam. Nope. No invites. Nothing on my end either. With which a twit? You sure you sent the bleeding invites? That Pathfinder, um, hmm. <clears throat> spam, spam folder. That's, um. Okay, <laughs> let's move on from that. <laughs> uh, uh. No, that kind of accusation is offensive and frankly terrible. The accurate, because I'm just now remembering that's exactly what happened. Oh. I just thought you didn't like me, Path, that none of you did. Mirage, turn that upside down smile upside down again. We're friends, friend. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Oh. Yeah, we are. Hey, lonely time's over. Ti now it's dance, Phew, dance time. I take a moment, then nod. Mara smiles and joins the their floor. Horizon spins on Newt. Crypto's drone plays a light show and Octane's doing the running man. I just want to take a minute to watch them. My friends. Happy, dancing, laughing. Mara's moves are, uh... Enthusiastic. It's infectious. Still, someone's gonna teach her a two-step. Maybe a one-step. Start small. I guess all the best things do. Next, with friends like these. Finally, the epilogue. My voice is tired, my throat is starting to hurt. I've got a glass of water and I'm just constantly taking sips because my throat is like, ah. Epilogue, let's go. There we go. Oh, oh, I'm not gonna read that. That's okay. Initializing. Link. Established. Handshake. Verified. Encryption. Locked. Parties. Two. Z. Package confirm. A. Um, could you be more specific? Have you secured the package? It's just us here. My security is top notch, you know that. So quit it with the cloak and dagger talk. So sensitive. So sensitive, especially for a titan of business. But if you want to talk like a spy, you go ahead. Do you have the head? Oh, affirmative. Head secured. The eagle has landed and the fires in Gaia are getting higher. The head, as in Revenant's head. Stop it. What is its condition? Sleeping like a baby. A 300-year-old baby with no body. Provide proof of acquisition and condition. File upload. Cross promotion. The JPG completed. Not the greatest composition, but I think I really captured his eternal ennui. Acceptable status report on previous owner. Ah, the blue-haired guy put up a surprising amount of fight, but dead. Well, not dead. Dead. Pre-dead. Dead adjacent. My mom says I have a problem finishing things. Unacceptable. He is loose end. Oh, well, you didn't buy the tying up loose ends package. That's extra. Especially now that blue hair is in a Samathi hospital surrounded by legend. Well, at least one legend. 
What a good friend. Not that you'd know. Oh, look at you with the jokes. Wait, what? Listen, a wink would have killed the blue, killed blue hair the way I had him. But said friends dropped by earlier than I'd planned. So I had to leave things to Chance. But apparently Chance likes him. We expect that to be resolved. Yeah, yeah, I'm on top of it. Even legends have to sleep. Payment reduced due to incompetence. Proceed to drop location with the item by 0300. TRSNF payment received. You know, this head, it could knock down a lot of doors for me. I imagine that legend I was just talking about would want it. Not to mention a certain... Moi? Moi? Powerful party? What? Okay, uh, no, the received. Ah, you should have. And last but not least, the dirt on our favorite orphan. My little rat who got me the footage of blue hair and the head needs that or she'll bite me and then I'll bite you. Much obliged. The head will be in the basket by three. Acceptable. Now if you'll excuse me, I'll finish my drink and see if the brunette wants to dance. Say what you will. But a wit knows how to throw a party. Later. Friend. Link severed. The end. Wait, what? What? That was the most interesting part of the entire thing, and I don't know what it means. For some reason, I want to believe... Let me just quickly go back. Who were the... Yeah, we got Z and A. It sounded like A was... Oh, come on. I, I went... Ah. Oh. Yeah, it sounded like A... It sounded like Vantage, the way she was talking, or they were talking. Like, But I, I struggled to believe that that was Vantage. I don't think Vantage killed... Jaime. What? So Revenant didn't kill Jaime. That's for sure. I don't know who these two people are. Please, oh my, if you're watching this, and you know, please let me know. I need to know. I need to know who these two people are. Or at least, who you think they might be. Because I, I can't tell. I can't tell. And it's bugging me because I want to know so badly. Oh my gosh. There's hints in there. There's hints in there. Just the way they're talking and what they're saying. There's hints as to who they are, but I just, I'm not sure. Maybe it's the character, the new character that we, that isn't out yet. Could be, but I, I doubt that. I doubt that. Anyways, that was the entire story. Friends like these. That was a, that was a fun, uh, well, fun one to read. Um, there were some really interesting moments in there. Especially with the whole Jaime, Revenant Loba stuff. That was, uh, that was interesting, but um, I'm going to leave that there. My throat is dead. <laughs> uh, hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will see you probably by the end of next season when I'm going to do this again. I prefer just reading them all in one sitting instead of doing each chapter separately when they come out. So I'll probably do this again next season, so I'll see you then when I, uh, when I upload the video again. Yes. Goodbye.